What's up guys, welcome to another local band smokeout. I'm your hostess Hyler from The Most BG, and today I'm honored to be hanging out with Soothsayer all the way from Texas. What's up boys? What's up man, how's it going? going I'm excellent. Uh, if you could introduce yourself and uh, let me know what everybody plays in the band. I'm Justin, and I do vocals in the band. I'm Hunter, I do guitar. I'm Josh, I'm also on guitar. Excellent, nice to meet you gentlemen. I've, I've, I've known we Josh. Got, we, got, we got one more. Can't get in here real quick. Hold on. We got the drummer. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> I play the drums. Excellent. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, be sure to ask her something so we can get her more involved as we go on. But uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At Soothsayer, Texas, where you're going to go. Um, Josh has been a supporter for a little bit. I appreciate you, brother, for doing that. We actually were, it was cool enough to get him to uh, co-host the other day with us for a little bit. That was a lot of fun. But uh, when did when did the band actually start? Uh, Justin, do you want to start that up? I believe that was in the uh, winter of 2019, if I'm not mistaken. We started and uh, started playing practicing together with Hunter. It was Kaylee, Hunter, and I started the band originally and had a few member changes since then. Um, we kind of got practiced up and ready for shows in 2020 and kind of fell out then. And since then, we had a couple member changes and came, came back, back strong here in 2021. 2021. So, so it's, it's been going, going good, good for us since then. Excellent. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, how'd you guys come up with the name? I'm sure you get asked this all the time, but I have to ask it like during the... <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, that's that's just I'm, I'm a huge uh, DC Batman, Batman fan, fan, so I was, I was chilling, chilling watching Gotham, 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 and the name, name Soothsayer popped up in one of the episodes. episodes. I was like, wow, that sounds pretty cool. cool. So <laughs> if it fits, so we, we, we kind of stole, stole it from Gotham, Gotham there. It sounds, it sounds brutal. Like when you hear it, you're like, what the... It's that like that just sounds cool. <laughs> I love it. Mysterious. Is is everybody originally from Texas? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we're all from Texas. Texas. Yeah, yeah. 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 Texas, Texas born There you go. Sure. I've only driven through Texas. I, I've gone from Florida to California twice, the on the ten, and it takes me a whole day to get in and out of Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Literally, it takes but, like. like Eight, Eight hours, hours from, from here, here to get, get to El Paso. Paso. So, that's crazy. It is big. Everything's bigger in Texas. What are um, what are all the projects you guys were involved in before Soothsayer? Oh, man. You already know me. I was in Versus the Villain. I was in a couple of those leagues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Justin and I, I was, in a, I was in a band called Fail to React when I was like 15 to like 18. And then uh, I met Justin when I was 18, and then we started playing together in a band called Actually December. So that was pretty cool. We got to play some pretty big shows, um, but unfortunately didn't make it. But it's all good because we've got Suits Air going out. Hell yeah. Uh, for me, I was in this band called Far From Nothing. Um, and so, like, I wasn't, so this band has been around for a while, and I wasn't, like, originally a part of the original lineup, but uh, the vocalist had wanted to get things back together and so he invited me to be the guitarist in it and do like a kind of revival thing and so that's kind of when uh kaylee and justin hit me up to start jamming and i formed that and i was doing both at the time and then far from nothing kind of fell off and we continue doing this and now we're hitting it strong and then is this your first vocal project uh i'm not the vocalist right right right, right. oh for me yeah. um no, I was the vocalist for uh, Anchors, which was a, a band for about a year or so. And that's when I started doing screams and vocals. Uh, and I did a little bit of screams with the, uh, actually December, like towards the very end of its life. So Justin's actually a uh, bass by choice, but... Uh... Uh, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather play bass all day, man. I'd rather slap the bass. Slap the bass. Yeah, they won't let me. They, they say I need to keep being the angry man, so I'll Maybe stick with it. When, when I, in one of my old bands, I got a, just an idea to throw out for you guys. Uh, we used to switch instruments at one part, like, just for, like, 45 hey. seconds. Would you ever, like, let – would just swap and, like, let somebody else do vocals just to end, like, a little heavy section and you get on the bass just to go slap crazy and then just go right back to it? Sometimes I wish uh, Justin would let me hop on vocals and him, him play guitar, but I don't know. 
Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> We'll see. He, he, I don't know if he's out. No, we'll but, see. Yeah. Josh actually can play the drums. Too. Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll put it on the drums though for sure. It just looks yeah. cool visually if you just like swap it just for a second. You're, everyone's like, "What the? What is happening?" Everyone's like, "Well, what's going on?" Yeah. I first oh, yeah. seen. I think I first seen like Story of the Year do that years ago at live, and I was like, "What the hell?" What would you guys say? If, is, if you're, if you're going on Facebook and it says you got tagged in one of our videos, you already know what's about. Cool. We experimented it already. <laughs> I, speaking of that, aren't you guys coming up with a like a new music video fairly soon? We shoot tomorrow. Actually, we're shooting a new video, and to be honest with you, I know everyone says this, but uh, we put a lot of time into this song. And I really think that this is probably uh, I don't know, man. This is one of our best work that we've done collaborating together as a unit with this new lineup. So I really, I really am excited. We're all really excited to see to show everybody this song because. It's got a lot of meaning behind it, and we put a lot of emotion into it as well, man. So, uh, yeah, we're excited we shoot it tomorrow, man. We probably won't get any sleep tonight just because of the excitement. So, I love that. Feeling. Obviously, you know me. As soon as I get it, I'm gonna send it your way for a react. So, cool. I love it. I can't wait to hear it. This is gonna be. It's gonna be first heard in in visual form. Like you're gonna drop the video first, and then all the yes, Spotify. Exactly. Stuff. Cool. Sometimes yes. I, I find that works better sometimes because then you have to watch it on YouTube or something like that. But exactly. It, yeah. it, it works. Yeah. It works. I think, um, too, like that's what happened with Aftermath because we, we released that song, I want to say in 2019. It was. And amazing. then re recorded it in 2020 for the Lost EP. But it like actually didn't start getting a lot of attention until we shot a music video for it. So the visuals help. People like to see yeah. who's doing all the yelling, who's doing all the slapping, and all that stuff. <laughs> sure. Well, who would, you, who would you say are the three biggest influences that create oh, yeah. suits there? Oh man. <laughs> We're all gonna well, we all have different things. If I were you do. For, for one. If really? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I just interviewed Randy the other day. Yeah, yeah. Rand Randy's awesome, man. Yeah. Awesome, man. They're, They're so, so good. If I were you, uh, who else? Yeah, Carissa actually did. His sister actually did some uh, some of the artwork for some of our stuff. Yeah, she's she's cool. Oh, oh man, I do have era like every day. Era, yeah. Oh man, Jesse Cash is a beast. Yeah, that Neon album's pretty sick. Yeah, that's, dude, that's my favorite one for them. Yeah. For me, I mean, Wage War, especially their older stuff. Their first two albums were absolutely just killer. I can go with that. Wage War is amazing, man. Yeah, I agree with that one. Hell yeah. Wage Wars. Anything though. that has anything that has sick breakdowns, man. Breakdowns in China, man. That's my motto in life. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good breakdown. Um, I got a fan question, and then we'll do the we'll play uh, some stuff in the background. I do have a an oldie that I don't know if you guys even know existed on YouTube. I dig deep. I dig deep. I found some oh, fan yeah. footage from January 2020 of a live set that I'm gonna play of you guys. Maybe a different lineup, but I don't know. Um, all right, fan, <laughs> fan question, fan question. If you did a whole album of covers, what are a couple of covers you would pick? Ooh, oh, man. What happened to have some Fit for a King in there song? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we almost, we talked about doing a Descendants from Fit for a King song at one point. And we've also talked about before doing Idols and Acres from Parkway Drive. Parkway Drive. Was, uh, obviously old Parkway Drive. I uh, love them to death, but. Their newer stuff's kind of the wrong direction, but, uh, but uh, I don't know. What's another good one? Light Moss of Flames? I thought about You Won't, you won't Be Missed would be a good one. What do, okay, so obviously like mostly heavy stuff, but would could you ever, would you ever consider doing like a curveball and throwing something that's not heavy and just turning it? Freebird. Free Coldplay. <laughs> Katy Perry. Katy Perry? We, th we yeah. thought about doing a Pop Goes Punk kind of song. Dude, I'd be I'd be down with like an NSYNC, bro. I'll live, live, give me like some NSYNC, some Bye 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 on there, bro. We'll throw, we'll throw a middle. I, once, I always thought Life by Ellie Goulding would make a sick yes. cover. Yes, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, dude. Should try it. Some, sometimes that stuff like really works. I and I once did a NSYNC talent show performance. Well, that's another, oh, another, another day. We need to dig on that one. For another day. I need to take that out. I can't yeah. find the footage. I've looked. I've looked. Uh, what's one album you would take to an island if you can only take one? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Jeez. All right, Kaylee, go first. Does everybody have, the, have, can they have their own answer? Does sure. I think this is an everybody have their own answer. Group effort? Oh, give me a minute. That's tough. While you're thinking about it, 
here is that footage. Oh man. Do you do you recognize the venue? Yeah, hey, I, well, let's not be on there, but I, I've seen the exact I think that's, that's what you had your I don't think this reason. would cause a copyright because it's because it's live, so I'll kinda just play it. Oh, no. oh man. I just thought it was cool that I found too. something that yeah. I don't know if you if you knew this was out there. Under the short hair. Oh man. So yeah, uh, one one album you can take to an island though. Okay, I got you. It's not heavy, don't judge. So I would definitely do Drake, the Take Care album. <laughs> I'm waiting on that new Drake to drop, so I feel you. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I I'd probably go. I'd probably go as Daylight Dies or Kill Switch Engage. Strangely enough. So for me, uh, I'd probably agree with Kaylee and go with Drake, but I would do the Nothing Was the Same album. Oh, good one too, but stop copying me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to throw a curve one in there. I'm going to go with, um, by the way, album by uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Good, good call. I thought you were going to say Hinder, and that's not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> if you could tour, well, first, first let me ask, is everyone 420 friendly in the band? I think I'm the only 420. He's the only one left. One left. <laughs> yeah. At least we got one. At least we got one. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. As long as you guys just don't hate it. Uh, uh, no, no, not against it at no. all, man. What do you What do you jam in your spare time? That's completely the opposite of metal. Blues. I play blues a lot. Steve Ray Vaughan's my dude. Okay. I feel like all of my answers have been the opposite of metal this whole interview, but I'm gonna go with Halsey. Do you even like metal? Dude? Halsey, hell Halsey. yeah, nice. Do you even but like the Halsey, metal? The Halsey after the GE broke your heart, though. I thought it was Paramore that you, you jammed most to with Romas. I love Paramore, but I, I did Halsey. And she's hot. I'm a big fan of Fort Minor. Dude, Fort Minor's hot. Oh, yeah. Hot. I didn't know that. That's what's up. I've been listening to this band from San Marcos called Blue October. Oh, I've heard of them. They're pretty dope. Yeah, they're sick, man. Some good answers. They metal? No, they're not metal at all. Okay. Oh. What kind of what movies what kind of movies do you guys watch? Oh man, I'll say, oh, oh man, Adam Sandler all day. Man, oh, I can't watch yeah. scary movies or else I'll be checking like in the curtain in the shower before <laughs> I go take a dump. Like, <laughs> I, I can't do that stuff, man. I won't be able to close my eyes at night, so I got to keep it comedy or children's movies all the time. <laughs> man, I, I know it's not a movie, but I love The Office. The man. Office. I oh, that's true. right. The Office is what I watch a lot. We 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 all love The Office a lot. So that's what she said. Yep, straight up. Oh my. Little Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin. Mifflin. You I guys... like any movies that are directed by Christopher Nolan, like The Dark Knight Trilogy. Oh man, straight and, up. And, and, and Interstellar, dude. It's Inception. Interstellar. Yeah. yeah. I still do not understand Interstellar, dude. dude I will explain oh, it to you. Yeah, Interstellar, 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 and Inception. I totally understand, but the newest one, I I've seen, it, I've seen it twice, and I don't really get that one. I understand the concept of it, but. Yeah. I don't know. Is, is, is it, is it, it looks tenet? cool. Yeah. Tenet. Dude, I literally watched Interstellar one. Uh, the first time I watched it, and I literally sat on my bed for about 15 minutes contemplating Dude. my entire universe. <laughs> when it first came out, I think I went to see What to do with my life? Weird. I was just like, I don't know what's real anymore. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess I can't catch on to it. It's so good, man. You just you have to like sit down and try to actually understand it. It's all right. I'm just... That's one of those movies. Pay attention ones. It's one of those movies where like little teeny nuances that happen in the beginning are like really relevant way at the end, and you see like. That's not good because I have a really short attention span. So. Most of those movies are long. So. All right. Uh, let's do. What's your favorite kind of like munchy snacks? You you guys are grubbing. I'm I'm a I'm a buffalo wing guy. I love chicken wings. Oh man. Tabasco Cheez-Its. Tabasco Cheez-Its. Oh, Dude, those are so good. So oh, good. <laughs> I stay strapped on those, bro. Bro, for me, it's cheese steaks and marinara sauce, bro. I could eat those all day long. Uh, Man, I love goldfish. <laughs> it's not like I'm, my son. Yeah, goldfish. straight up. Like, I, I, I've always loved goldfish, so that's probably my go-to snack. But flavor Dude, glass or original? Original, no, original dude. So. Cheddar all the way. Original. <laughs> Justin? I don't know. I guess it's a Mexican to me. I like the chips and salsa. Justin also eats that. a lot of like <coughs> sugar cereal. He's Ooh, always eating like sugar cereal. 
Honeycombs, fruity pebbles. Dude, straight up fruity pebbles is probably like the same kind of cereal. I'll, I'll put it down. I fruity love cereal. I was at I was side. at I think Sam's Club the other day, and I never seen this, but I saw fruity pebbles with marshmallows. Oh, dude, those are, dude. those are awesome. So bomb. Yeah, dude, they might have ruined fruity pebbles with marshmallows. I don't wow. really like marshmallows in cereal, but it just works. Oh, the They're heck? like fruity pebble flavored marshmallows. <laughs> Bro, that, bomb. I don't know. Bomb. That's bomb. We played with Brightburn like two two weeks ago. I think they're out of Midland. Right, yeah. and their their vocalist is like really small. Yeah, right? like this little dude that's yeah. a big. But voice. then he gets on stage, and it's just like, <sighs> yeah. massive. Dude. Hell yeah! And their guitarist Ryan is actually part of Victera as well. Yeah. And so you know we we're pretty good friends with him. So. Nice. Have you ever have you ever had a show that just everything for some reason just went wrong? Like the mic just cut out and and yeah. you just kept playing the oh, show. Oh yeah, all the time. Lot, so this man. exact same show that we had in Lubbock two weeks ago. Um, yeah, well, it, it was really bad for us. You know, um, my ears were not working. My wireless cut out. Yeah, Hunter's wireless cut out. Like we couldn't hear anything. It was it was a nightmare. We just kind of pushed our way through it. And, you know, the bands afterwards were just like, "Oh, good set," and you're just like, "Ah, oh, fuck you." You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means. So you know, we did bad. That's why. Anyway, no, everybody was really cool about it, but definitely was not our uh, best performance whatsoever. But you live and you learn, you get better, and you keep pushing. So. You gotta keep pushing. My bad. I just realized something else was playing in the background. I was like, this doesn't look like them. <laughs> <laughs> it just like auto played. I don't know if this is relatable. Maybe it's kind of. Tired like, of uh, should we tell? Them? <laughs> you can you can uh, you can tour with any with any band in the whole world. You're opening for this band. Why them? And who is it? Man. Should we take turns? Is, or is, it, is this a, a full, like a collective band? You guys can take this turns. It's all good. No, it would definitely be a savior for me out of Australia. Super good band, really deep lyrics. Like their their lyrics, I think for me, you really have to dig into it too to like understand what they're talking about. But they're very relatable and they're so underrated. But for sure, hands down, for me, it would be savior. For me, it'd be it'd probably Kingdom of Giants. Yeah. Straight up, they're so good. Those guys are so good. Oh, they're so good. Do we do we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> Especially their new album, man. That new album is freaking uh, best. Why do you so why good. do you pick why do you pick Kingdom of Giants? For me? Yeah. I just like everything they put. Like they literally mastered. They have some of the best breakdowns I've ever heard. The best cleans I've ever heard. And their on stage performances are just flawless. So they've always been a solid band. Man. It's just like they're literally perfect in every aspect. In my, my opinion. For me, I think who I would go on tour with would be North Lane. That'd be sick. I haven't heard that anymore. I just saw the other day that North Lane just finished their new album. Jesus. I'm excited for that. I'm stoked, man. Yeah, I, I had to go back to Era again. I had to be chilling with them and yeah. watching them play their set all the time. If I had half of just cash time. <laughs> Dude, North Lane featuring Era and Soothsayer. Out of Abilene, Texas, when they stop uh, in. Hey. We gotta make that happen. Hey. We gotta make that happen somehow. Hey. You heard it first here. <laughs> <Local band club. laughs> breaking news, breaking news. I got a breaking news button and everything. Um, you can pick one feature to be on. All of a sudden, you just have uh, a budget out of nowhere, and you're like, we're pushing the brand new video we're shooting tomorrow. All of a sudden, we're pushing it back two weeks because this artist is now on the third verse. Who is that artist? Ooh, for me, uh, Memphis Mayfire. Maddie? Memphis Mayfire, Maddie. Wait, I just missed this whole question. So who, who will do guest vocals on one of our songs? Oh, man. Dang it. But you know what? Maddie's like a, like a double like, threat yeah. because yeah. he has fantastic cleans and fantastic screams and have you ever seen him live it's that is good perfect. yeah it's perfect it's really good it's ridiculous their new, their new song is fire too for me i think it'd be sam from architects yeah that is ridiculous it's debatably it's debatably better voice than maddie but just barely yeah dude his voice no, that's, that's, a good, that's, that's a good pick that's blasphemy that's blasphemy it was just like i think uh, <laughs> i don't know his name it was but I think it'd be the vocalist from Fit for a King. Oh, Ryan. 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 Yeah. I, I listened to his voice to help me warm up. Um, so I think hearing it together, that'd be freaking awesome. And, my bad. My uh, son, my son's on jumping stage. in. You want to say hi real quick? We only have one more question anyway. So you want to say hi real quick? Yeah, I 
He's got a Snoop Dogg shirt man? on. What's up, buddy? His name, his name is Lyric. He's got a, a Snoop Dogg on. Say hi. Give him the rock and roll. Say rock and roll. Rock and roll. That's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost done, okay? Hey, I just got to fly and then I'm flying. All right, I'll, I'll go fly with you in a minute. Bye, man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so adorable. Uh, what's, what's next after, this is the last question I had actually, what's the, what's next after the video? Like, is there, is there a full length in the works? Um, obviously more shows, but maybe yeah, a mini so we tour. Have, we have like a, a mixture of like, we have like a string of like half made songs that we, that we're trying to, we're trying we're really picky on this actual album. So we're, so we're kind of being a little hard on ourselves, to be honest. It's funny, you know, when you start when you start writing demos, you know, you, you like it at first, and you're like, oh, this this could be better, or, you know, this part could be better. And then, so it's, we, like Josh, we have a lot of songs that we have put together, but, you know, we're kind of unsure about certain parts. Yeah. So we're trying to piece that together, but definitely, if, if not a full-length, an EP will be, you know, our next step. And I think, so. like, another thing about that, too, is we're having so many shows back-to-back. Back. It's actually been quite a hard to, like, sit in the practice room and write because we've been trying to get ready for shows. Um, so, yeah, actually, yeah, this summer, we have tons of shows coming up. Yeah, we're, we're this playing, month is our busiest month. We're playing <laughs> basically every weekend until, like, August. Yeah. Between that and full-time jobs, it's hard to squeeze in you yeah, and write new music. Not as yeah. much in family. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever thought yeah. about maybe doing like, like okay, I do you have the same producer that you normally go to for each single? Oh yeah, yeah. Is, oh, yeah. yeah. What about what about doing? What about doing Studios. like uh like pre production with him and so maybe you can like help come up with some cool ideas in the writing process while you're there. Yeah, sure. it, 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 it's really cool too because he's actually a guitarist. He used to be in a band called Oven Empire back in the day, and he's super talented. So. He always does help us whenever we're in the writing process or going to record something. He'll he'll assure us that you know certain parts could be you know tweaked a little bit or you know he'll throw his ideas at us. But at the same time, studio time ain't cheap, so yeah. we try to go in there ready to go and knock it out. I hear you. It does add up. It does add up. What do you need? Okay, two minutes though. I need two more minutes. Okay. <laughs> He wants a candy bar like really bad. He can't reach them where they are. <laughs> They're way up here. All right. Uh, the last thing I, I ask of you guys, I ask everybody to do this as we end, is uh, I'm going to throw my picture on my screen way on the bottom. And if you guys could just be like, hey, we're Soothsayer from Abilene, Texas. You're watching the local band Smoke Out. Something along the lines of that. But just kind of do it however you'd want to do it. Just whenever you're ready, just take it away. Just say it right now? Yeah. I'll cut it out. I'll cut it up later and use it as an intro. Okay. Uh, I'm Josh from Soothsayer, and you're watching Local Band Smoke Out. Perfect. Cool. I appreciate you guys doing this. Soothsayer, at Soothsayer TX. Please go like their page and follow them. They got a new music video coming out, uh, let's say, a month from now, maybe? I know you're shooting it fairly soon, so yeah, that's good, yeah. give or take yeah. a month. A month from now, we'll be on the lookout for it, and we'll definitely be playing it on the show and on the streams. Josh or Osmer, I always appreciate your your support, sir. It was nice meeting the rest of you guys. Keep rocking, keep blazing. Hey, keep bla- I'm talking, you. I'm talking to you. Keep keep blazing. Uh, <laughs> we we got to meet up sometime. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Straight but, up, uh, brother. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for doing this. You too, man. Cheers. Hey.